it's no secret that Joshua did not want this fight. And he didn't want it for a reason, because Deontay Wilder is the most fiercest puncher in, in boxing history, in heavyweight division history. And I saw that tonight, I felt it. No wonder AJ didn't want no part of that right hand. <laughs> he can't move like me, he'd have been nailed. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, before I get in the clip, Tyson Fury broke down the Andy Ruiz shocking upset victory over Anthony Joshua. Wasn't shocking to me. I told you Andy Ruiz was nothing to underestimate, take lightly. Um, I did the seven reasons. Tyson Fury says before the fight, he was looking at this. He peeped the setup, basically, and he knew Joshua was going to get knocked out. Listen. I don't know if it's true or not, but there's a lot of newfound people who have made these type of claims like they knew something before. That's why you got to put it on wax because, you know, you can't really know who felt the type of way if they didn't break down the fight beforehand and waited for it to happen. I will give Tyson Fury, however, credit because he did say Andy Ruiz, you know, he's a good little fat guy or something like that. I remember seeing him say that before the fight where he... He didn't undermine Andy Ruiz, so it's definitely possible that he's seen something. But um, as you guys will hear, Tyson Fury says that Joshua looked dry. He had no sweat on him, and, you know, that's not a good indication. He haven't worked up a sweat. I really think, you know, some of them rumors, there's some truth to some of them. Like, they're saying Joshua had an anxiety panic attack. I am not taking away credit for Andy Ruiz. He just went out there and simply performed. Joshua did not end of story however joshua looked shook he looked spooked he looked like the pressure had surmounted and tyson fury says the same thing you will hear tyson fury says he looked he was looking all around he looked like he had other stuff on his mind he looked like he didn't want to be there again this is not to undermine what andy ruiz did there's a lot of people in this boxing game that are extremely sensitive and they'll take a person like me who actually picked and gave Andy Ruiz a shot before the fight and then now they'll try to make it look like I'm the one out of all people you know who's not giving Andy Ruiz his props so it's just laughable but Joshua looked shook he looked like coming to America fighting in America he was underprepared or spooked something you know and Andy Ruiz went out there showed heart showed more heart got back up when he was hurt and Ward back, Joshua didn't. So, you know, this is all Joshua's problem, everything. But Tyson Fury is funny, new media. I keep saying this stuff and it comes true. I keep saying it and then you guys see it. Tyson Fury is saying the same thing. He said Joshua looked on the night, he looked, you know, disinterested. He looked like he really didn't want to be there and something was on his mind or, you know, he was afraid of Andy Ruiz's style or whatever. But another interesting thing that Tyson Fury said before I play the clip is that he said the rematch, he don't think is going to be different. He said it's it's a lot of people before the fight that they judged the book by its cover, basically, and they thought Andy Ruiz, oh, look at this guy fat and this other guy, you know, he looks like a specimen. And that none of that shit matters in boxing, which is what I said, new media. He says that he don't think the, the rematch with Andy Ruiz will be any different. He says he sees this as, you know, basically Andy Ruiz has his number and it's a bad style matchup. And Andy Ruiz style, that style is always going to give Joshua problems, always beat him. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think. He obviously has his own guy coming up, Tom Schwartz. He can't underestimate him. You know, Triple G rolls. None of these guys. This Andy, what Andy Ruiz did, he breathed new life into boxing and you know, him and J-Rock and Ivan Redcash, all these guys, they breathe new life in boxing and let you know, like, nothing's given. Nothing's for granted. You know, take nothing for granted. Because just because you're sought after to lose, I don't mean you're going to lose if you, you know, have the skill and the ability and game plan and strategy and the heart. You know, I'm loving where boxing is at. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We were. Well, the heavyweight division is getting super exciting, and we all saw what happened this weekend. So we got to know what was going through your mind. Yeah, when you're seeing Joshua 
and Andy Ruiz Jr. going at it. What is your thought before the fight begins? Because these are guys that are, you know, in your weight class, you're eyeing up this fight. What are you thinking before the fight? I'll give you a little rundown on it. Everybody who looked at the two fighters, there was about 10 or 15 of us watching on the night. Um, and everyone said, oh, Joshua in a round, Joshua in two rounds. Look at the other guy. And I was like, you don't judge a book by its cover and you don't go, it doesn't, in heavyweight, it doesn't go out how the fighter looks, if he's chubby or muscular. It doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. Because it's one punch and it's all over. You know, I looked at Joshua enough, I seen he didn't want to be in the ring on the night. He was looking away, he just had other things on his mind. Right. It's when fighters travel, they seem to go into the opponent's backyard and they feel intimidated for whatever reason. I'm not one of those guys. Right, you're not yeah. that guy. We've seen it. So now what are you thinking around third round when it starts getting really exciting? Third round, from, from round one, I could see what was going to happen. I looked at Joshua, he didn't have no water on him, no sweat walking into the ring. I thought this guy's going to get knocked out and there was 10 or 15 guys in the room and when I said this, this was before the fight started and then it, it happened and I knew that he couldn't box that style. And even in the rematch, they're saying, oh, X, Y, Z, this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong. But his style and his style, they're not made to go together and Andy will always beat AJ in my opinion. Yeah, so well, seventh round, by that point, yeah. you're not surprised? Not surprised at all. Wow. Now, before we get to you, one last question about this fight. When, when you see him get knocked down and it's over, are you thinking a rematch, he will train differently? He will be prepared? Or do you think Ruiz has a chance to do this again? Well, if you look at Joshua's physique, he didn't look underprepared to me. That is true. He looks like a specimen of a human being. But in, as you said, in the heavyweight division... It means nothing. means nothing. Because it's not the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog. And if you ain't a purebred fighter and you don't want to be in that ring on the night, doesn't matter how big you are, how strong you are, how many weights you can lift, it's not the place for you. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.